What's up everyone? I'm Carly. Um, I'm a trainer and coach at Next Phase in Arlington um, and I have an awesome cardio and glutes workout for you guys planned today. So really excited. Um, get excited. So the only things you're going to need for this workout today are a little bit of space, um, somewhere comfortable where you can be lying on the ground um, and then some sort of bench, elevated surface, couch, chair, whatever you have, um, something sturdy that you can lean your back onto works great. Um, and then the last thing, which is optional, is just going to be one of these um, glute bands or booty bands or any small loop or something that you can tie um, if you have one. If not, we can totally do it without. Um, there's modifications I can show you and you're still going to feel the burn, so no worries if you don't have one, but if you do, definitely bring it out for this. Okay guys, I'm gonna go through all of the exercises, the format for this workout, everything you need to know. So let's go through all of the exercises. Um, we have three different stations plus a finisher. Each station has a cardio component and a glutes component. Um, for the cardio component, each exercise is gonna happen for about 20 seconds with as little rest as possible for two rounds, okay? So that's just two minutes of cardio. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but we're going to make it feel like a lot, I promise. And then after that, we're going to go into our glutes component, which is going to be 45 seconds um, for two exercises, each exercise twice, so just like we do in class. Um, so here we go, station number one, starting out with cardio, guys. So we are starting with alternating squat jacks, okay? So we're jumping out, squatting down, and tapping the ground with alternating hands. Make sure you keep that chest up nice and tall the whole time. Second exercise, we have sprawls. So you're gonna come starting in a high plank position. Okay, tuck that core in nice and tight. Jumping forward to your hands. Release those hands and jump back out to a high plank, okay? The goal will be to pick up the speed here and make it nice and quick. Third exercise we got here is gonna be plyo lunges, also known as jump lunges. Okay, so we're just jumping from one lunge into the next. All right, modification would be to just go into some stepping back reverse lunges. All right, our glutes component of station one, we're starting over with our elevated surface, so find that couch, bench, chair, whatever it is. Use your arms to brace you up. You want right under your shoulder blades to be the part that is on, um, or all the way up onto the bench here, okay? And we're driving through one heel into a single leg hip thrust, squeezing those glutes at the top, okay? Hinging over the bench, but most of the movement is gonna come from the sternum down, okay? So make sure you're gazing forward, tucking that chin a little bit, really squeezing those glutes. Exercise number two here, these are side lying hip raises, okay? So this is a new move. What we got here, we're starting in kind of a tucked in side plank position, okay? So forearm bracing us, we're keeping um, that bottom leg bracing us as well. We're pressing up and out, okay? So up and that top leg is coming all the way up and we're squeezing those glutes at the top, okay? Keeping everything nice and in line, but really pressing up and back with those glutes, okay? For station number two, cardio component here, we have high knees into a burpee, okay? We're gonna do 10 high knees right down into a burpee, make it count. So 10 of these guys, once we hit 10, drop that chest down, and right back in, okay? So keep going with that combo. Number two here, we have donkey kicks, okay? So these are kind of fun. We're starting on our hands and we're kicking those knees, or those heels all the way up towards our butt. Um, lots of kicks, lots of big movements there, explosive. And third exercise, we have Russian twists, okay? So we'll just do these body weight. We'll try to pick up the speed, but we're sitting in that visa position we're crunching and engaging that core the whole time. Okay, and station number two, glutes. So this one you can definitely grab your band for. I highly recommend it if you have a band. I'll show you with the band, but if not, it's all about that mind-muscle connection, like I mentioned during the warm-ups, okay? So starting in a quadruped position, make sure you can see me. <laughs> all right, so I have the band a little bit above my knees, so you can see. We have a donkey kick into a fire hydrant, okay? So donkey kick, we're kicking one leg back, squeezing that glute, and then a fire hydrant, we're kicking that leg out against the band, okay? So back, heel up towards the ceiling, and out to the side, all right? So we'll continue with that combo, do it on both legs. 
Um, and second one here, we have our glute bridge marches, okay? These can be done with a band as well, or just as effective without one, okay? So we're coming into a glute bridge, remember? Tucking that pelvis under, shooting those hips up to the sky, and we're marching, so we're bringing those knees towards our chest while keeping our glute squeezed in. Glutes, plural. <laughs> All right, and that is station number two. Okay, so for station number three, guys, we are starting with cardio right here. We have some regular old jump squats, okay? So we're pressing down, jumping up, make it explosive, again, make it count. Second exercise here, we have some high knee line hops, okay? So I want you to draw that imaginary line in the middle of your room, and we are jumping over with the high knee and back to the other side, okay? Again, goal for this one will really be to speed it up. And our third exercise here is gonna be plank jacks, okay? So come down onto your forearms. All right, we're engaging that core. We're jumping out, back in, keeping those hips steady. You know, also come up to your hands to modify. Okay, so that's our cardio. Um, station number three for glutes. We're starting out with some elevated frog bridges, okay? These are a burner, guys. You are going to put your feet up onto, sorry, your heels up onto your elevated surface, okay? So heels are up on the couch here. We are pressing up into a bridge, squeezing those glutes as hard as we can. Knees pointed out, heels together. All right, those are your frog bridges. And last exercise here, this one works great with a band. Again, if you don't have one, my muscle connection, okay? We got this. We have some sideline hip abductions, okay? So we're coming up onto our side, squeezing at the top, pressing up, point that toe down for a little more glute activation, okay? So that is our three stations of cardio and glutes. Let me go through the finisher really quick for you guys. Um, exercises in the finisher are gonna be really simple. Our cardio finisher is gonna be a little ladder, we're going down with the time. So we have 60 seconds of each, 45 seconds of each, 30 seconds of each, and 15 seconds of each. Um, it's gonna involve just burpees and then just mountain climbers, okay? So nice and simple here. Burpees, we have a big jump at the top, pressing that chest down, right back up, okay? And then we'll go right into mountain climbers. So we're up in that high plank, driving those knees forward, picking up that speed as we go. Um, and you're just gonna do the first round is 60-60, second round 45-45, 30-30, and then 15-15, okay? So that's gonna be our finisher there. We'll burn it out. Lots of burpees, lots of mountain climbers. You might hate them at the end, but it'll be awesome, okay? And for our glute finisher, we are going to either come over to the wall, okay? I like doing these on the wall, or you can do them on that elevated surface, so a couch, chair, whatever it is works just great too. All right, so what we're doing here, can you guys still see me? Yep. We are pressing those heels, or your entire foot up onto the wall, okay? Your leg should start at about a 90 degree angle, and this is the position you're gonna stay in for this whole finisher, okay? So, we have 20 seconds of each thing for three rounds straight with no rest, all right? You will be burning after this, I promise you. So here we go, feet are up on the wall. We're pressing up into a glute bridge. Our first exercise, we're starting with regular bridges. All right, and then after 20 seconds, we're coming into little pulses. Okay, so just a small little bridge at the top, not dropping all the way down. And after that 20, we're holding up in this iso hold position for the last 20, okay? So that's one round, and then we'll go right back into the bridges for the next. All right, so that's all the work, or that's all the exercises we got. We'll stretch at the end. Um, it's gonna be awesome. So get excited. I'm excited. Where you guys are gonna do great. We are starting out with some jumping jacks, getting that cardio in. Let's go. We got about 20 seconds of each exercise here. After these jumping jacks, we're gonna come down into some regular body weight squats, okay? So knees pressed out, keep the weight in your heels, chest up nice and tall, 
and squeeze those glutes at the top, start to activate them. After this, we're coming right down into some pulse squats, okay? So just a nice small movement at the bottom here. Again, feel in the glutes, drive through those heels, keep that chest tall. All right, after this, we're gonna do some lateral walks. So go ahead and grab your band if you have one. You're gonna slide it right on to a little bit above your knees here. If you don't have a band, just stay nice and low on these. So little squatted position, okay? And we're stepping side to side, pressing against that band, activating those glutes. You should start to feel the burn after a couple here. Even if you don't have a band, just stay nice and low and really, really think mind-muscle connection, okay? All right, we're coming back down onto the ground. We're starting with some glute bridges here, so make sure you tuck that pelvis under, pressing those hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing those glutes, drive through the heels, and again, if you have the band, go ahead and use it. Next exercise here for our warm-up, we're doing abduction, so we're gonna press up against, out, sorry, out against the band, pressing those knees out, keeping those heels nice and close together. Again, if you don't have the band, I'll show you, this will work just as great. Really think about that mind-muscle connection, get some good range of motion, and activate those glutes. All right, after that, we're coming into some bird dogs. Okay, so we're in our quadruped position, hands and knees, tuck that pelvis in, no arching of the back here, and we are extending opposite arm, opposite leg, straight out, engaging that core, engaging those glutes, Again, really focusing on this slow movement. After about 20 seconds, we are gonna stand it back up and switch to some high knees, getting ready for cardio. We got high knees for 20 seconds, and then we're ready to get started.